By the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to make your labels look however you like by uploading your own TTF files. Welcome to another Thunkable tutorial. In this one, what we're going to do is take a look at where to get font files from and how to use them in our apps. So in this tutorial, it's actually, there's no blocks at all required. This is purely design based. What we'll do is we'll start off by adding in a label. There's label one. We'll change the font size, make it a little bit larger, and we're going to add in some text here. So this little sentence, the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy hedgehog. We use that because it shows every letter in the English la uh, alphabet. The design is, it looks okay, but what we want to do to see what it actually looks like is test it out. So I'm live testing here in another tab. Once we've got one um, kind of more happy with it, what I'll do is really quickly run through two more labels here. So we've added in la label two and label three. And what I want to draw your attention to is the font typeface option here. So we've got the Android fonts, the native Android fonts, Roboto Regular, Roboto, Roboto um, Thin as well. And what we can do is we can change the weight so we can make this one bold. Again, we don't get a true idea of what it looks like until we view it on the phone. But uh, this, I think, looks even out of the box without uploading any font files. This looks really good. So if you want to see more tips like this, please subscribe to the channel. If you want to be notified of when new videos are released, don't forget to click on the bell icon as well. OK, so out of the box, things look pretty good. But what if we want to customize? So there's lots of websites where we can get our own TTF files, but fonts.google.com is really useful. You can see the samples here as we're scrolling through. I'm going to find ones that look completely different from Roboto, from the native Android font. So this one here is called Bungie. And what I do is if I click on it, I have options to share or download. So I click the download arrow and it gets downloaded to my computer as a zip file. Then what I can do is I can keep scrolling down here until I find something else that looks really distinct, really different. So Indie Flare here looks like it's hand, kind of a handwritten font. Let's download that as well because it's totally different. So how do we go about putting that into our app? So those zip files that we have, we have to unzip those. And once you've done that, you click on upload, go to your directory wherever you download stuff. And we go in here and this one, the first one is bungie-regular.ttf. And then what we'll do is we'll go upload, select a file again. And um, you can drag and drop them in as well if you have uh, them extracted. But I have indie flower that's been extracted and indie flower, all one word, dot ttf. And that's the other um, font file that we want to upload here. So rather than using font typeface, we're going to use font typeface import. That's the important thing. This little error appeared because I'm live testing, so I've left it in to show you what it looks like. You can just dismiss it. And label three, then we'll choose indieflower.ttf. So let's take a look at this now. The fonts are totally different. We don't see them in the designer. Again, we have to test it out. So let's open up our live companion or export it to our phone. And this is what the final app looks like. So you can completely customize the look and appearance of your app using custom fonts. If you thought that was interesting, if you learned something and if you liked it, please show your appreciation by clicking the thumbs up. Thanks a million for watching. Um, please leave any comments that you have down below and I will see you in the next tutorial.